part of the analysis of the claims, one tool that can be used is modeling the liability. If, for instance, you have a company that's involved in long tail claims, asbestos, environmental claims, uh, or product, any type of product liability claim, uh, one tool that you can use is to model those claims. Have a consultant come in and do some projections to see where, really where those claims are headed. And what we suggest is that you really do a spread of values, kind of a worst case scenario, a best case scenario, and then really what kind of a projected scenario. So that the business people have uh, a, a range of potential liabilities that they can look at and then compare that to the insurance assets. As part of the M&A due diligence, one of the things that you're going to look at is the uh, contractual relationship between the target company and any of its vendors. Typically what you will see is in agreements of sale or purchase orders is the uh, indemnification agreements in those. And with indemnification agreements, often you also have insurance requirements. And those insurance requirements might include the target company being listed as an additional insured on the vendor's policies. Well, that's all well and good to have that type of information on the contract, but what you need to do is see what the target company is doing in terms of maintaining that information. Uh, if all they're doing is getting in certificates of insurance and they're not organized in any way, they're just dropped into a black hole, then having that contractual indemnification right might be illusory. What you want to do is take a look at the, the contracts see if there's a right to be indemnified, see if there's a right to be listed as an additional insured, and then make sure that the company is maintaining that information in the right way. And then what you find is if the, if the company is maintaining the information correctly, you know that in terms of evaluating risk. If they are not, then what you could look at is uh, they're not properly uh, managing that asset that they have, and that might be uh, something that you can capture post-transaction.